Hey everyone, in the previous video we successfully able to register our user and now the time is to the work on the login stuff. So first get the login controller. So here I'm going to return my previous commands. You can uh, return your commands using arrows up and down. So here I created the register controller. I'm going to create the login controller and other rest of the things are same. Hit enter. And yes, it's created and I'm going to also create the user um, user request so you can uh, create this for the login differently user login request user register request like this or you can add this into the login directory and then add this uh, user request like this right so it will make this difference like this user uh, login hello stay away please okay uh, user login request hit enter and yes it's creating so now here if i uh, go back uh, on the user request to let me open this out user login request so here i'm going to copy these uh, this array from here Go to this one and I'm replacing with this one just removing the name from there because we are going to use this email and password to this out right so I'm going to use this true right close this one close this register controller right in the login controller here we are going to uh, use our uh, login uh, request to user login request it's added and here I'm going to now fetch my user first user oops user and then here I'm going to where command where uh, email equal a requested user email the user will request the user will pass this email and then I'm going to find this first okay and then I will store this into the variable here user variable like this and then I will match its password right so how to match the password so we can uh, I can copy it from the docs here I don't want to write this very long code I will explain this how it's working right so basically it's uh, here first it will match the email and then this will use this like this so what is this i will explain this in a minute okay hash this add these namespace at the top validation exception and uh, illuminate exception okay and now here basically we are finding our user whenever user will enter the email we are going to check this into the users table right we are storing this into the user if the email was found email will found we will store this into the user variable and here we are checking that if not the user so it's mean that this wouldn't found or we are checking that if the user is found and this requested password which is requested by the user and the, this one is our database password it wouldn't match so it will throw the validation exception that provided credentials are incorrect so basically it's checking that user credentials are correct or incorrect right and if the above are correct then we are going to return the same thing as we did this in the register controller so let me copy it from there this is how to handle places like this here token and it's also same for this one and here i'm in this user okay uh, and uh, now everything is same here i'm going to create a new route here this would be the login route and this would be the login controller no login controller not found yes add the namespace at the top login this would be the login okay and uh, now this one is working fine and let's go to the postman and uh, implement this stuff 
yeah this one is a uh, for the displaying all of the tasks so this one is a register so i'm going to clone this register right and then i'm going to make this so uh, login okay copy register let's rename this to the login okay also change this with the login oops i sent this request um okay uh, request login and this would be the post request yes right and uh, in the body here i'm sending these uh, this name i don't want to send this name api okay, login and then this will uh, login this user send email has been already taken so why it's going oh because here in the user login request i'm using unique but whenever you are logged in uh, logging in you don't need to use the unique rule okay uh, send this out yes our user is now logged in and it's created a new token here right and if i visit the database it's also storing these token in the personal access token yes it's storing these tokens and these tokens are protected right so these are a hash token you can see that these are hash token right these are not plain token and these are this is the name of our token also storing the you know, our model and last user id and so on things right there is no expiration we can manually revoke these tokens uh, okay uh, let me close this out let's go back here here this one is a token so I'm going to now uh, visit the task, this one. Let me replace this token, send. And yes, yeah, still I'm able to access the uh, task out. If I remove this something, so it's unauthenticated, right? So it means that we can access our API, um, API, uh, endpoints uh, secure endpoints using the authentication stuff and how we made the authentication we can add the authentication using the token so we will pass this token as a bearer so then this will be this request will be uh, authenticated and uh, it will display all of the data and uh, by the way whenever you will use this into your project so you need to pass this so uh, through the if you are using axios we need to pass this token using axios through uh, headers right and you will name this so uh, a bearer token and then you will add this token so it will authorize your request so this is a way how you can authorize your users to uh, access the authenticated endpoints right and uh, now the time is to the log out this so uh, authenticated user so how to do this so we will do this in the next video and uh, by the way if you want to support me on my mission to shoot the premium course free of cost so subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and also share your feedback that to uh, how much valuable this series is so thank you so much bye bye